Today, we're diving deep into the exciting world of Samsung's upcoming software update, One UI 7.0. Buckle up, because we're exploring the potential release date, beta program details, and compatible devices. Samsung usually graces us with a new iteration of One UI between October and December. While an official announcement is still pending, we can leverage some clues from the upcoming Samsung Developer Conference, SDC. Mark your calendars. SDC 2024 is set for October 3rd. Looking back at last year's SDC, which took place on October 5th and was followed by the release of One UI 6.0 later that month, a similar pattern might emerge for One UI 7.0. We anticipate Samsung to unveil the update's features at SDC, potentially kicking off the rollout shortly after. One UI 7.0 is built on the foundation of Android 15. This new Android version recently achieved platform stability with the release of Google's Android 15 Beta 3 update. This milestone signifies the core functionalities of Android 15 are finalized, allowing Samsung to accelerate the development of One UI 7.0. Based on Samsung's history with beta programs, we expect them to launch the One UI 7.0 beta program sometime in Q3, July, September of 2024. This early access period is crucial for Samsung to gather valuable user feedback and iron out any bugs before the public release. So if you're an adventurous tech enthusiast with a compatible Galaxy device, you might get the chance to experience One UI 7.0 before everyone else. The official list of compatible devices is still under wraps, but fret not. We can make some educated guesses based on Samsung's software update policy. Here's a breakdown of what we know so far. Front of the line, high-end devices. If you're rocking a recent high-end Galaxy S series phone, Galaxy Tab tablet, or a fancy foldable Galaxy Z device, you're in luck. These devices likely launch with Android 13 or receive the update, and will most probably be among the first to be blessed with One UI 7.0, Android 15. Flagships and mid-rangers with update guarantees. Don't worry if you don't have the latest flagship. Samsung offers a generous four-year update guarantee for many of their flagship and mid-range phones. If your device falls under this category, there's a high chance you'll be receiving the One UI 7.0 update. Fresh out of the box, 2024 devices. If you're planning to purchase a brand new Samsung device later this year, you might not even need to wait for an update. Devices launched in 2024 are likely to come pre-installed with the goodness of One UI 7.0, Android 15, right out of the box. With Android 15 reaching platform stability and the potential release of One UI 7.0 on the horizon, the future is looking bright for Samsung Galaxy users. While the specific features of One UI 7.0 remain under wraps, we can expect it to leverage the functionalities of Android 15, potentially introducing improvements in areas like security, performance, privacy, and overall user experience. The beta program should give us a clearer picture of what One UI 7.0 has in store. In the meantime, keep an eye out for Samsung's announcements around SDC 2024, which could be a treasure trove of information about this exciting update. What are your thoughts on the upcoming One UI 7.0 update? Are there any specific features you're hoping to see? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace out. Today, we are diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two-pronged attack to achieve this, a monstrous camera system and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5x optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3x optical zoom lens, also with a 50 megapixel sensor, and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3x zoom and ultra-wide sensors, are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan-favorite feature, a 16GB RAM option. And not just any RAM, but the industry-first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. 
When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, the S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers. Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. Rumors suggest the Snapdragon Agent 4 chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice, raise prices across the board or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops. This chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 Ultra performance that rivals some Apple M series laptops. But wait, there's more. We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0, which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFS 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFS 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFS 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker, translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So what does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFS 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it. What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16 gigabytes RAM, or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, goodbye.